Jai Hind friends, in this video, I am gonna explain you the exercise 1.3 of 6th standard. So let me start. Question number 1. Estimate each of the following using general rule. If we want to solve this question, first of all, we want to understand the definition of general rule and what is meant by estimation. So I will be explaining you about that. Listen carefully and understand. The general rule is that we have to round off each number to its greatest place. It's nothing but general rule is used for rounding. For example, let me take a number 108. If they ask to round off the nearest 10, we will be telling the answer 110 because the nearest 10 of the number 108 is 110. If they asked us for the nearest 100, we will be saying the 100 because 200 is just too far from 108 and 100 is nearest value. The next estimation. To make calculations easier and more realistic, an estimate of a number is a reasonable guess of the actual value. Approximating a quantity to the required or nearest accurate value is what estimation is all about. I hope you all understand about this. So let me start. First question 730 plus 998. We have to estimate the sum by using general rule. So when we round off the number 730, the nearest uh, values like tens, hundreds, thousands is 700. The next 998 is 1000. So when we estimate this sum, we will be getting the answer 1700. If we add 730 plus 998, we will be getting the nearest value to the 1700 because 1700 is not the actual actual value but it is the reasonable guess of the actual value then the next question 796 minus 314 796 round off to 800 314 round off to 300 estimated sum here there is a slight mistake they asked us to find the estimated difference so here we should replace estimated difference equals to 500 then question number c 12904 round off to 1300 as it is near the next number is 2888 round off to 3000 estimated sum equals to 16000 question number d 28,292 round of 2, 28,000 because 292 is nearest to the 28,000 as 29,000 is really far. Then the next number is 21,496 round of 2, 21,000 estimated difference equals to 7,000. Because as you can observe the question, they asked us to find the difference. 28,292 minus 21,496. The answer which we got by using general rule are the approximate values but not the actual values. But the answers will be reasonable guess of the actual value because they will be not actual value but nearest to that then question number two give a rough estimate by rounding off to the nearest hundreds here they mention to the off to the nearest hundreds and also a closer estimate by rounding off to nearest tens question number one 439 plus 334 plus 4317 439 round off to 400 as they mentioned rounding off to the nearest hundreds or or else also a closer estimate by rounding off to the nearest tens so 439 round off to 400 334 round off to 300 4317 round off to 4300 then the estimated sum will be 5000 
this is the approximate value of the actual value then the next question 1 lakh 8737 minus 47599 1 lakh 8734 round off to 1 lakh 8700 by round off, rounding off to the nearest hundreds see here you can observe 734 nearest hundred will be 700 then next 47599 round off to 47600 as 600 is the nearest hundred for 599 then the estimated difference will be 61100 question number c 8325 minus 491 8300 sorry 8325 round off to 8300 uh, by round up rounding of 325 to nearest hundreds 491 round off to 500 estimated difference will be 7800 d 489348 round off to 4 lakh 89,300 because by rounding off to the nearest hundred the number 348 will be 300 then the next 48,365 round off to 48,400 365 nearest hundred will be 400 then the estimated difference will be 44,900 Sorry, 4,40,900. Let's move on to the last question of exercise 1.3. Question number 3. Estimate the following products using general rule. A. 5, 9, sorry, 578 into 161. Here, a slight difference is there. Because in the previous questions, we have done addition and subtraction. Uh, that means estimated sum and estimated difference but here the estimated product because we will be multiplying by using general rule 578 round off to 600 as it is the nearest 100 then 161 round off to 200 the estimated product will be 600 into 200 equals to 120,000 by using the same process we have to solve the remaining problems b 5281 into 3491 first of all we will be round offing the nearest value 5281 round off to 5000 then next 3491 round off to 3500 the estimated product equals to 5000 into 3500 equals to 1 crore 75 lakhs C 1291 into 592 1291 round off to 1300 592 round off to 600 the estimated product equals to 1300 into 1600 that means uh, the value of round off equals to 7 lakh 80000 the last question D 9250 into 29 9250 round off to 10,000 229 round off to 30 actually here 230 the estimated product equals to 10,000 into 230 10,000 into 230 equals to 23 lakhs. Hope you all understand about the problems which I have explained of exercise 1.3. Thank you.